Let's work on solving exponential equations. An equation is an exponential equation when your variable is in the exponent or in more than one exponent. So in order to solve these, we can rewrite them with log on both sides using the property of equality with logs. And we can use change of base to divide and evaluate the logs. I'll show you that in our examples. And then we solve the remaining equation for x or whatever our variable is. I just want to make a note that if you're given e as the base, then you need to use natural log to get rid of the e. And we'll look at some examples of that. So let's just look at four examples that I think will cover the main things we need to see. So for number one and two, or excuse me, one and three, these are the ones that have x in the exponent. And notice on number one, it's only in one exponent. And in number three, you have your variable in two exponents, but they work very similar in how we solve them. And then notice in example two and four, we have the e that I was talking about as the base. So I'll show you what we do with those with natural log. But first, let's start with number one. And I've done some of the calculations ahead of time, so you don't have to wait for me to punch things in the calculator. So on number one, we're going to take log and write it on both sides. And the reason for this is our variable is in the exponent. We can't get it out of the exponent without rewriting it somehow because it's kind of stuck up there. And so how we get rid of it is using log. So in our first step right here, I'm just going to put log on both sides. So with equations, we're allowed to do things that keep both sides equal. So I did the same exact thing on both sides. I took the log of both sides. Then you want to divide to get rid of those logs. So you want to divide by the side that has the exponent with your variable in it. So divide by the log of 6. So then you would need to type this in your calculator and you would get a decimal. The log of 8 divided by the log of 6 would be 1.16. These cancel out, so you bring down, I'm going to write it over here to have more room. You'll have 3x plus 1 left over equals, and then this in your calculator gives you 1.16. So from there, it's just a linear equation that you finish solving for x. So we subtract 1, 3x equals 0.16, divide by 3, so x will be 0.05. And I'm just rounding my decimals to the nearest hundredth place, but you would want to look and see what they ask you to round to. But normally it's the tenths or the hundredths place. So let's look at number three, and then we'll look at two and four. So on number three, and we can even renumber these. So this will be one, two, and then we'll look at three and four together. So number two, Let's write log on both sides. Again, we're doing this because our variables are in the exponent place, and there's no other way to help them get out of the exponent. But we're using log. Log is the inverse of exponential, so it helps us get rid of the fact that this is an exponential equation, and we need it to be solvable. So log of 2 and log of 5, you can divide by either one. I normally try to divide by the one that has more going on in the exponent, so I don't have to distribute the decimal that I'm going to get in the calculator. So divide by, I'm going to do log of 5, but like I say, either one, you could get to your answer if you divide by. So log of 5 will just cancel out, and see I bring down x minus 2, that comes out of the exponent now. And then in my calculator, I've already typed this part in. So log of 2 divided by log of 5 is 0.43. And then the x is still there. And so now I have a linear equation to work on. So I am going to subtract x. So I end up with negative 0.57x equals negative 2. And divide by negative 0.57. And I got x equals 3.51 for my solution. And again, I'm just rounding to the hundreds place. So now let's look at 3 and 4. So the main idea over there is you put log on both sides, divide in order to clean up those logs, and then solve the equation left over. <clears throat> so on this side, if you have e as your base, natural log has a base of e. 
and log has a base of 10. So if you're given E as your base and you take natural log of both sides, then what's going to happen is natural log base E of E is going to just cancel each other out. If you type that in your calculator, you'll see that that just equals 1. And then the 2x is left over. So then you have the natural log of 42, which I've already calculated, is 3.74. You can divide both sides by 2, and you quickly end up with x is equal to 1.89. So like I said, I took natural log in order to cancel out the e. And then I have to take it on both sides to keep everything equal. And then after that, your exponent comes out, you have your decimal from your calculator, and then you just divide it by 2. So on the last example, there's just a little more going on before we can take natural log. First, we need to get that little e to the x power by itself. So first, I'm going to subtract the 1. So I'll get 84. Then I'm going to divide by 3. And I'm not writing that step just because I think you can follow me on that one. I divide it by 3, so e to the x equals 28. Now I can take natural log of both sides because I want to get rid of e. So that gets rid of e. x is equal to, and you could type this in your calculator, the natural log of 28, which is 3.33 if we round it off. And that's it. So that is the main idea with log equations. Take log of both sides or natural log of both sides, and if you had a base of 10, when you take log of both sides, that would cancel out the same way the natural log and the 